What's going on everybody? It's Joel here and today we're going to be taking a look at the iSell Fitness Premier Bearing Barbell. So I've had this bar for about a year now. I've been using it, putting it through its paces and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen this before because this is the one that I'm always using when it comes to like CrossFit wads or when I'm doing any kind of Olympic weightlifting or when I'm deadlifting. This is definitely my most used bar when I deadlift. Uh, also, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that this is the bar that I always recommend when somebody is asking me on my Thursday AMAs what a good value starter barbell is. Something that they could do pretty much anything with and doesn't break the bank. That usually ends up being the ISO Fitness Premier Bearing Barbell. This is one of my favorite bars for a reason. So the specs on this are, it's a 28 millimeter diameter shaft. It's got 190K PSI tensile strength. It's got dual powerlifting, weightlifting markings. The knurling is a lighter diamond type knurling. It's got eight needle bearings, total four per sleeve, and it's got a hard chrome coating. They do offer a black chrome coat coating, but I don't actually know if that's actually black chrome or not. I haven't actually seen it in real life. Uh, I do have the hard chrome version behind me. So despite this being a value barbell, the build quality of the Premier Bearing Bar is excellent. Like I said before, it does have a 28 millimeter diameter shaft that I personally measured at the knurling at 28. 0.38 millimeters, so there's a little bit of a variance there. The knurling on it is a light knurling. It's a diamond type knurling. There's not really any kind of volcano to it. There's a slight divot at the top, but you can't really feel it at all. Um, the coating on this barbell is hard chrome. Like I said, it does come in that black chrome coating as well. Since it is a chrome coating, it will oxidize the fastest out of pretty much anything that isn't bare steel. So make sure that you are wiping down your barbell after use. The weightlifting and powerlifting marks are very distinct. They're, the cut is very clean there. And then the knurling extends all the way out into the sleeve. So if you have a really wide snatch grip, you're going to really like that about this barbell. So inside of each sleeve, you're going to find four needle bearings per sleeve. The coating of each sleeve is that same hard chrome coating, which does resist scratching very well if you're using normal bumper plates. If you use metal plates, expect that to wear down quite a bit faster. There is a slight ribbing to the surface of the sleeve that does do a pretty good job in keeping bumper plates on when you're using this barbell without any kind of collars or anything. The sleeves are held on with snap rings, which are very easy to take off. If you ever need to service your barbell, it's pretty easy to do. The shoulder of the sleeve measures at about one and a quarter inches, so you do have Pretty good amount of loadable space on this barbell at about 16 and a quarter inches of loadable space. I personally have loaded this bar up with five 45 pound competition plates and still had room to spare, at least for a set of collars. So since this bar does have those four needle bearings per sleeve, the sleeves spin excellent. If I just turn the sleeves right now, I can get about eight rotations out of it, out of a free spin. That's probably its best feature. And not only does it spin fast, it also spins very smoothly, very uniformly, and actually pretty quietly. If you're looking for an excellent bar to use for weightlifting training, like just clean jerk snatch, this is an excellent choice because of the amount of spin that it has. Another reason why this barbell would make for an excellent value weightlifting training barbell is because the whip on it is excellent. It does have that 28 millimeter diameter shaft paired with 190K PSI tensile strength. In my experience, I found that this barbell for the money whips almost as good as some of my 500, even close to $1,000 barbells. For $300 or for under $300, this barbell is excellent for Olympic weightlifting movements, the clean jerk snatch. At the same time, it's probably not the best barbell for powerlifting movements. If you're looking for just a squat or bench bar, this is probably not gonna be the best choice for you, though it will work for those movements. Since it does have that excellent whip, I do use this barbell primarily for my deadlifts. I have put 565 pounds for PR on this bar. Uh, I've actually hit multiple PRs on this bar when I deadlift it with it. And I find that the whip of it on it is excellent. It breaks off the ground pretty easily. And it's not as whippy as a 27 millimeter deadlift bar, but for my training, I think it works very well.
And even though the ISF Premier Bearing Bar has pretty light knurling, I never found grip to be an issue uh, for Olympic weightlifting movements, for powerlifting movements, and it especially excels in doing like CrossFit workouts where you're doing high repetitions, even like hang cleans, hang snatches, stuff like that, really doesn't tear up your hands at all and still provides very good grip. Okay, so I'm not gonna try to lie to you guys and tell you that this is a one-of-a-kind barbell. There are plenty like it on the market. I can probably think of like five off the top of my head right now that I have tried that are literally the exact same barbell. When you're looking for something like this, you usually see like a 28 millimeter diameter shaft, 190 kpsi tensile strength. The knurling is gonna be that lightish type knurling, dual markings, and then you do have the four needle bearings per sleeve. They're usually gonna be the same barbell. Sometimes they range all the way from like $168 all the way up to like $500. My advice to you is to buy the cheapest one. At the moment, the iSell Fitness Barbell is pretty much the cheapest one. It can be, it sells for $168. It does not include free shipping. If you wanted to get this thing shipped to California, it's another $70, which brings up the price to $240, but that's pretty much the same price that everybody else sells it at. Um, they just kind of roll the shipping into the actual cost of the barbell. So, like I said, my advice to you is find whichever one is the cheapest to you as far as shipping goes, and then just buy that one. They're pretty much all the same ones. ISL Fitness does have a slew of new barbells coming out this year. They have a squat bar, a deadlift bar, a powerlifting bar, uh, a new Olympic weightlifting bar. They've got their everyday bar and then they've got their jack of all trades premier bearing bar, which is what we're taking a look at today. Uh, so stay tuned for some of those reviews coming in the near future. If you guys have any questions about the ISL Fitness premier bearing bar, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And as always guys, thanks for watching.